this in uh, rural Ethiopia, you'll just see, you're, you're lucky if you can recognize a street or a big building. So um, they do have a, some kind of a, a prioritization where they say, well, uh, well, we'll try this year to update uh, urban areas in sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, every two years, try to update images of those cities. And a nice thing also about being part of this, this collaboration with Google is that we can tell them that we, we really have a very important project in uh, Nyanza district in uh, Malawi, but the images are crap. They just can't see anything. So could you move them up in your priority list? And uh, that, that way they can actually you know, uh, provide us with better, better images. The other type of data, the road and street data, that really depends on, uh, on the user and how active this mapping community is. So it's fairly variable from, from one place to another. But you know, it's getting uh, more and more frequently updated and then there's more and more people who contribute to these databases. So it's, yeah, fairly regular. Have, we, um, have you mapped any franchises yet? Um, we have some older data from Nepal, from when the Sun Quality mm -hmm. Health Clinic Network was still up and running there. Um, we have some data from Myanmar, which I haven't worked on uh, recently, but there has been uh, some, some mapping efforts. Green Star, uh, mm -hmm. we've mapped out, of Dave, they've mapped out. Uh, all the, the 7,000 Green Star uh, family planning service providers. But not under Google Maps, not under this initiative yet. Um, not yet, but we can we can certainly do that, and I'll sh actually show some of the Green Star data later on. So I was wondering too the you know the evaluation function in mm -hmm. um, uh, in Google Maps, you know, being able to rate clinic services right. and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. I mean, has anybody have any of the test countries talked about that, like Zimbabwe? Mm, uh, well, Zimbabwe is actually the the it's the the one country that I haven't been to yet, but that's still it's. In a few weeks' time, I'll be there to. Uh, that's the, that will be the last of the six countries, but I'm, they they would probably be interested. Mm -hmm. Sure, if provided that a a significant enough portion of their target groups of their users will is likely to go online, which mm -hmm. is maybe not the case in rural Zimbabwe, but you know, locally it could be the case. Um, now, uh, maybe just a few words about the, the Green Star clinic mapping. Uh, Green Star agreed to share those locations of those. 6,900 facilities or private providers uh, that are part of the Green Star network with Google, but um, on the condition that we don't say that they're Green Star providers, which which I found a bit strange. But you know, each program is different there, and uh, um, so you can find the doctor that was mapped out by PSI and that we know is part of the Green Star network, but it won't say this is a Green Star clinic, and but that could be the next step, you know. And I think they they just took a very cautious approach. And that's also maybe one of the, um, not problems, but barriers that I did run into uh, is that often people are reluctant to say, or, or, or will want to make sure that they don't get into trouble with the government uh, for sharing this type, of, this type of data. Although there's nothing sensitive, there's no private information, we're just publishing data that's already part of the public domain. Just anybody can walk up to a pharmacy, write down the name, with the GPS, locate the coordinates, or even without the GPS, if you recognize it, you can put it on the map. Um, we're not going to uh, publish availability of products or services or say this has a quality rating of such and such compared to that one. So, But still, some of them um, do want to talk with the Ministry of Health uh, and other partners, and as soon as you do that, everything takes much more time. So in a few cases, like in Laos, they took the approach, well, uh, just do it. We're not going to... <laughs> not going to tell them and, and actually nothing will say that that specific point on the map, that that pharmacy was mapped out by PSI. Uh, which again may seem a bit strange and maybe a, a lack of attribution or recognition. However, there is a, um, let me just quickly show that to you, um, a Google Map Maker, a showcase page, which is this one. Uh, which shows projects that use MapMaker data and technology and contribute to the global mapping community. And I've already provided the text to Google. Uh, this is where PSI will also be listed, hopefully. With, I was hoping it would be there by today, but um, <laughs> the, next few, the next few weeks. So um, this is just a, obviously just a few, few sentences, but you could then go in to see, well, OCHA, everybody knows OCHA, I think. Uh, they have a specific project on mapping internally this IDPs camps in, in Darfur, and you can read more about that and see a map and, and maybe uh, another project here. The MAPA project is all about mapping Africa's protected areas. You can actually even download 
uh, a file that will open in Google Earth that shows all those national parks and you can click on it and uh, get links to websites and so on. So this is where PSI will be recognized as a, as a main contributor to, uh, to the project. And you see there's only a few so far. Um, so hopefully, yeah, within the next few weeks we will be up there as well. And um, actually what I haven't mentioned is that one of the, the first um, deliverables, as they call it, under the agreement that we have with, with Google is that we're, we're providing them with data from the last two or three years that have mapped out, not necessarily in those six pilot countries, but even elsewhere, um, through our regular map surveys and routine MIS mapping and so on, and which we have provided to them. So, so far, I think we've provided up to 12,000 of these points of interest. And um, they will also be, or they may already be online. Again, it's the, just the last few weeks. Um, and they're working on, of course, they have their technicians reviewing the data and making sure that they don't upload things that are already in their system. So uh, that's the, the first batch of data is out there. Uh, the, next, the second installment will be really from these six pilot countries <laughs> to make sure that we can provide uh, the, the data that we want to share and that Google is interested in. And, and maintain that up to date. Because that's also one of the nice things is that once you've uploaded your data, you can, if a pharmacy closes down or changes name or maybe it even moves uh, or um, new ones open up all, all the time, you can keep those things up to date on a, on a con yeah, continuously really. So that's one of the, the nice things about using uh, Google Maps and, and, and MapMaker. Any other questions? <coughs> 